T-Spines works great to help you get subdivision surface and mesh data into CAD. Just open the mesh and left click on the convert button. Toggle to a smooth display. And now this is a T-Spine that you can smoothly edit. To convert to a NURB surface, all we do is right click on the convert button. The conversion is exact and now your model can be passed downstream as an IGES or STEP file. To use T-spines for the conversion, you'll need to have quad-dominant OBJ meshes. Quad-dominant means the faces of the mesh are mostly four-sided. If you have triangle mesh data, you'll need to first turn it into a quad-dominant mesh with another program, like ZBrush or 3D Coat. These programs and others provide automated or semi-automated ways for retopologizing your model into a quad-dominant mesh. You can then convert the model to T-spines. Remember that when converting a mesh, the fewer polygons you have in the mesh, the better your surface will convert. Depending on your computing power and the complexity of your model, you can convert models with up to 500,000 faces. But with more faces, it becomes slower to modify it in T-splines. In conclusion, using T-splines to convert from subdivision surfaces to NURBS has been well tested by designers and artists for years. The conversion is trivial, just the push of a button.